Welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather and you're watching Heather's Makeup. <laughs> oh, that was so lame. Anyways, today is 4th of July and I told you on Twitter that I was gonna do some makeup reviews. So instead of doing my makeup because there's like a couple things I have to do before makeup like the foundation and I need it to do the review on it too because I have a primer and BB cream plus I got a new beauty blister sponge so let's throw the hair back and let's get started so I have clean hands well I mean it's clean enough it just brushed my hair off look how look how long my hair is getting guys it's getting so long so the first thing we're going to review is the wet and well matte matte that's so weird not matte face primer photo focus i've used their wet and wilds um primer before but i've never used it as the photo the photo focus to show you how new this i haven't even opened any of these at all i haven't so we're just gonna take just a wee bit Excuse me. Uh, where are you at? There you go. I dropped it. I'll clean that. I'll clean my lid later. I'm gonna move the matte photo primer over. It feels very matte. <laughs> Not to play like on words. Face feels matte and like soft. There's not too much of a smell, and I really, I actually do like Wet and Wild, to be honest. I like some of their products. I'm gonna flip my spectrum in. Spectrum? Septum. Hello, I can't talk today. It's okay, I've been trying to bake cookies, my velvet cookies, for the last three days. It's not turned out right. I'm trying to do it without the cake mix, and nothing's working. If you have any tips, let me know. So next, I'm gonna review. Well, let's finish doing this review. The one thing about Wet n Wild, they are animal cruelty free and they have the little bunny on it. Um, they are vegan friendly. This is a lightweight formula, refines the appearance of pores, smooth skin for even makeup application. Plus, it's going to help control shine and achieve a matte finish. I do like Wet n Wild. I'm going to add a little bit more. I want to make sure my, my pores are covered. I do like it. It's very lightweight because I've tried another one from them. It's very lightweight and I love it. I love there's not too much of a smell and it's really good. I love it. So that again, that was the matte, matte photo focus from Wet n Wild primer. So next we're going to do is BB cream. All right, so this BB cream is from Maybelline. It took me like 30 minutes just to find it because I used to use Maybelline's BB cream. They redid their packaging. So it took me 30 minutes just to find this to find out. They redid all of it. So the one that I got was the Maybelline Dream BB, BB Pure 8-in-1 Beauty Mom Skin Clearing Perfector with a 2% salicylic acid to help with my acne. I've been getting a lot of stress acne a lot lately, so this is gonna help with it. They have two different ones. They have this one, and then they have one with ah, oh, what do they have? The other one with they have another um, they have an essential oil with the other one, but I got this one because it helps with the acne. And this is in light and medium. So I'll give you the eight benefits that they have for us. It's gonna clear your skin, conceal imperfections, it's gonna minimize looks of pores, it's gonna reduce the appearance of redness, it's gonna adjust the skin tone, hydrate and smooth, mattifies and clarifies, and zero percent oils and lightweight feel. Let's see what else this is. Unfortunately, I don't see anything that says it's vegan friendly though. And I'm really disappointed in that. 
but I know Maybelline's like a really good brand too, so fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. And still brand new. Brand new. So hopefully they don't do anything bad to the animals. If not, I'm gonna cry and ask for my money back. Hopefully I don't need more. But this is how much it did, just a pea size. So we're gonna go dot 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 It feels very lightweight already. I might have to add more to my neck. It has a very lightweight smell lightweight smell. It has a light smell to it. Doesn't smell too bad. It feels fine on my face with that matte, so it's really good because it's a lightweight primer with a lightweight BB cream. Um, it didn't tint my skin too much, which is a good thing. Because you know how some BB creams just tints it. I'm going to add just a little bit more on my neck. guys want comment below because I know you guys probably want to see this I have a hickey from my fiance and so if you guys want to know how to cover hickeys let me know and I can show you how to do that especially if you have like an interview and you don't want them to know that what you just did last night which I didn't do anything because my husband and I we like biting each other he thinks he's a werewolf. It's fine because I bite back. Beautiful. Let me grab a towel. Doesn't look too bad. I feel like it hasn't like completely covered everything, but I also am doing it in light layers too. But it has helped some. I know it even as it has even out my skin. I haven't seen anything too much without my pores. Not too bad, not too bad. It is very lightweight, there's not a lot of falling it's okay um it's very lightweight too and it's not super tinted either so that's a good thing too at the same time it might be a bad thing we'll see how it goes with the rest of my foundation so the next i'm gonna do i didn't get new foundation okay i didn't, I didn't get new foundation but i got a new Beauty Blender Sponge, and I wanted to test it out with my foundation. Still brand new. Got this from TG Maxx. Oh, hello. This sticky color. So you can't take it out. This is from Flawless Blend by Urban Studio. It's the ultimate blending sponge. Look how cute it is in the background. It's like little makeup. I got this cute, I decided to go with a black one because I love black. It's one of my favorite colors. It's super soft, you can like squeeze it really well. It's really cool. No smell to it, barely any smell. Like, can't really smell much, which is good, but it doesn't have like a high fragrance on it. Oh, I didn't know there's still foundation in that part. No wasting foundation. So I'm gonna put my foundation on that I typically use. I am starting to run out of it. So if you guys have any recommendations on foundation, love to hear them. Okay, so I'm gonna dot, dot, dot. I like dotting my face a lot, and then using the beauty blender to blend it all out. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird and I just like dots all over my face. 
beautiful. I look beautiful. No, with this foundation, I can do that. It doesn't dry on spot either. So you have a little bit of time to work with before it sets. I know I it's weird the way I do it. I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry. It's nice and firm, but also it's really soft, so that's a good plus. And I feel like it's spreading really well. I've actually used this brand before and I'm always pleased with it. And they last pretty a good long time too. So I'm happy about that. Stupid scam likelies. You guys don't know. I'm trying to record on my phone and on my camera. Because I don't know how well my camera is going to do. It's been acting up. So just in case. I have backup. Like it's blending really well and it's like smearing if that's, if that's what you want to call it's smearing really well I'm not even smearing it I'm just like blend 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 but it's moving the foundation like really up. there's the way so it's moving it's moving it really well Make sure I get it right in here So you guys know I probably don't look really cute or the best when I do makeup because I probably make the weirdest faces. To be honest, I make the weirdest faces no matter what I'm doing. Even if with all my other vlogs if you see, I probably making weird faces. Even with my fiance's vlog, I probably making weird faces. This is who I am. I hope it looks cute though, like cute faces. I really like this beauty blender. It works really well. Didn't take too long. Oh, didn't take too long with it. And it's got every crimis. And it's blended in really well. And it was very easy. And my face feels, still feels fine from it. And not like I've been like torturing myself with a really bad sponge. And so let's test the sponge even further. We're gonna do concealer. Stick concealer. I hope I'm not too weird for you guys. But maybe you guys look like that and can seem entertained. I don't know. I feel like I should be playing like music in these backgrounds when I'm recording. I'm thinking about one of these times recording myself doing makeup outside. Do like a backdoor, like backdoor beauty. And I just do a video outside. Maybe when my blackberries start growing again and I get other fruits and veggies and other flowers and stuff grows, then I can do like try to make my own or natural organic makeup and then we can do backdoor beauty then. Yeah, that'd be cool. You guys don't know this, I've always wanted my own organic makeup line and brand and I've always planned it and thinking about it. I have a cut. Oh no. Oh cut. But um and then, a few years later, I met my soul sister, my best friend, and she actually has been a mate, she's been organ, freaking thing, okay, been 
thinking about ideas and jotting stuff down for her own organic makeup brand and we have very similar ideas on how we want our makeup organic makeup to be so it's so cool and she's even drawing things out I haven't even got further that far out to draw like what my product will look like or like stuff like that so it's really cool so maybe one day we'll have our own brand we've been thinking about it and we always want our own special effects makeup to steps baby steps all right guys so i'm going to quickly contour my face with young bloods warm beige foundation and i love 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 young blood it's very lightweight and it's really blendable especially with contouring but it is powder form which i'm okay with powders so let me do that real quick guys got that done I love 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 powder foundations like especially for contouring because I feel like you can blend things better and it makes it more natural like if you don't want a natural look and that's okay because some people don't so you want to get creams are better I like my more natural looking for a contour so I like doing powders powders are so much better with money natural Okay, so I'm going to do my powder, my blush, because I like doing my blush before doing my highlighter. Some people, do, uh, some people don't and some people do. But I'm going to use Young Blood's Dusty Pink Blush. Do you guys, when you do blush, do you like doing it like right after you put powder on too? Because I do. I like adding like extra blush to my cheeks after I do powder foundation. Next is highlight. Let's highlight guys. I got NYX highlighter from my friend Cheryl. She's like an ally sister to me too. This is called Ritualistic. Ooh. It's a highlight illuminator. Let's see. I love NYX products though. I've had them before and they're really good. So you guys are ready? 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 I haven't even seen what the shade looks like. Oh, that looks so cool. Look how pretty that looks, so shiny. So let's take my blush. Let's see, let's smell this. There's not too much of a smell, it almost smells like a new shoe. To be honest, it does it smell like a new shoe. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be glowing today. You know what, it works because you know what? Four for two live, so I'm gonna be glowing. So we're gonna take a little bit underneath the eyes, a little bit right here, a little bit here, and some here. Here. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my big brush, big powder brush, and just like blend everything in. I've been messing my eyebrows yet or my shadow, so it's fine. Because I do that for this purpose. So I can make sure it blends in really well. Okay, I like making sure everything's all blended in. Oh, look at the highlight. Oh. My nose is going to be like super shiny. 
very lightweight when you put it on and it's very shiny. Very shiny. I like it. It smells good. It's very lightweight. It looks like it does really well. It makes me super shiny. So ritualistic is a go. Love it. Why am I putting it back in the box? Ritualistic, you guys. You guys gotta get this. I'm like, shine, shine, shine. Bam, 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 bam. Got this e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. I haven't tried theirs before, and I'm hoping this is the right shade. I've always used their eyeliner pen, which I bought one, and I never opened it so I can show you guys what it looks like, too. Come on. really well gets them nice and together I'm still slowly working on fixing my eyebrows from a few years ago so proud that apparently I have like a cut right here like a scar see here's my scar so I'm trying to hide it my soul sister she's been helping me with that I'm really nervous because I've always done powder Okay, so it's a pencil. I thought it was going to be like a liquid. Okay. Let's do this. Look at those lights. It's a retractable pencil. Okay, it's not super hard and rough like a regular pencil. It's not too bad. So let's just outline it. I think that's okay. Let's outline it. Go side to well, outline it. When you feel you want to do light strokes and follow your hair pattern. To make it look as natural as normal. But when I get like here, I like making it square. Like this. And then like. may be a different shade of brown. In my view looks a wee bit different. This is supposed to be brown I believe. So I guess it is brown. Hold on guys. You guys can't tell, but this or it's not even right here. Like it's not floating all the way like I want it to be. Alright, any tip, tips or tricks when it comes to these type of dating problems? I've always used powder. 
always have used powder, so this is like all new to me. It's so much easier though, because I don't have to keep like dipping my brush in powder or I'm afraid it's gonna get all over the place. It's smooth. It goes on really smooth. Wow. I guess it, it almost like looks like I have natural eyebrows. Wow. Wow. I don't like my eyebrows looking like all made up either. I like them looking all natural. Alright, so let's do a little eyebrow highlighter. <laughs> so you can use this to help to get those that line for your highlighter, your brow highlighter. Oh, it works really well. I like it, but I'm not too sure. I have my pros and cons with it. The I love Unique's makeup. I really do. It's just the selling and have to make your quotas the hard part and what I don't too much for. Okay. So now we're gonna go into Urban Decay and we're gonna do blue eyeshadow since it is 4th of July. We're gonna do the shade Shattered. Shattered, Shattered, Shattered. No, that's really cool though because well, if you think about it, the fireworks, they shatter to like high temperatures in a way. Oh, so lame, Heather, you're so lame. It's okay. It's okay. I love a lot of Urban Decay's shadow palettes. Love them. I want to get eventually. I want to be able to buy more palettes and play with other people's makeup too, not just like name brands. I want to do like on like the underdogs, like the name brands that you haven't even seen yet. So I'm going to take the shade Smog. I'm going to put it right here and my crease line. See if we can do it on this side the same way. It's always the hard part. You can do one eye perfectly, it's just getting the other eye to go perfectly too. Before I do anything else, I'll just blend this in. That's cute. I may have to add more of that blue. Shattered. 
This is the first time I only did a light layer, nice light layer. So now we're going with a second layer to really make it like pop. Now we're going to take a little bit of this glue. Hold the foot part. We're going to put it underneath. I'm not making it like too fully on my eye, under my eye. I always, oh, I don't know about you guys, but I always get the feeling that I get when I put eyeshadow on the bottom of my eye. And maybe it's just because I get eyeshadow in it. I don't even know how you guys can do this. I've always hated doing eyeshadow underneath my eyes like this. Sometimes the look calls for it. Like this look. I'm doing like a nice, easy, 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 easy look. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more. The white on the top. Okay. Take my brush. I'm gonna blend things out again. I'm gonna also blend the bottom part too. Give my eye that definition. Now we're going to use eyeliner pen from e.l.f. Brand new. The only thing bad thing is about these pens, sometimes they're good and sometimes they're not. So it's like it's always a hit and miss. Looks like this time around it's not dry. So that's good. It's nice and wet. In a way. So it glides nice and I don't know, I think I'm kind of disappointed in this. Because I feel like it's already trying to dry out already. And I literally just bought it. It's in the shade black, and I literally just bought this. 
dried out and I barely used it. Well then. I'm gonna go back to the other one I have. It's a toilet nano with fine liner. Don't move it. Like make a fall. See if I can get this liner to be perfect. I feel like my eyes are a little swollen. They probably are from all those, from all the allergies. I'm disappointed in L. Like I said, it's always a hit or miss with them. Let's leave the side of the I feel like I'm going to buy more eyeliner again. I mean, I just bought eyeliner. You see what that did? Larry, like, just opened it too. So like it's same perfect. Ah, uh, it's good enough, guys. I'm really hoping this is 
not too boring and free. So this is gonna be my little look. We need to add more. We gotta go crazy, but it's so difficult going crazy. Everything's working against me. But it's okay. Take my sponge. Not too bad, guys. Not too bad. I was gonna go super crazy today, but everything's working against me, so I don't even know if I want to go crazy. Okay. Can I even do this stuff? I swear guys, I can't draw. Everything's working against me. Things are just so easy. So I think we're gonna have to redo that. It's too big. I'm a perfectionist, guys. I'm so sorry for taking so much longer. So long. It's driving me crazy. I'm gonna have to put like music in the background of this. It has to be perfect. Someone's gonna be like, oh, that's why you knew your foundation afterwards. Well, you know what? I got super excited about it, okay? About my stuff. So, I'm sorry. Everybody just thinks differently. 
I just will have them do my foundation first. Because I don't like doing it after it's. Let's just add some highlight here too. I might have to do that. Okay. So I'll see why I just did that. I don't, I don't know why. Wait, is this the good one? Eh. Puff it. It looks so green. Oh my god, it's so green. Uh, not really. Okay, so because I feel like it looks a tiny bit a little green. I'm gonna grab Uniques. I'm gonna grab Uniques Blue. And Angelica. And just go over my blue a little bit. I feel like it's a little, a little green. I'm gonna take a different brush for that. I'm gonna take my small lip brush. I've been using it for my lips. Small lip brush for it. You know, I've seen other people, they'll do their eyeliner first and then their eyeshadow, but I don't know how they do it because I always wind up have to redo my eyeshadow, redo the eyeliner. I don't know. See, I think I'm going to have to redo it. It's okay, I can do a clean up. Right here. No. Yeah. Maybe I should have done eyeliner shadow after do eyeliner on the bottom. So maybe it won't get so much in my eye.
Okay, so now we're going to take, we're going to take the powder real quick. And just do this. And powder my face. Let's try not to get it where it's in my pen eye. If it's quiet, I'm sorry, I'm trying to talk, I'm trying to talk and focus at the same time. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay. To be honest, I don't really have setting spray. I have setting powder, but I don't know if I really want to use it. I should. I should use that shit. This is a, okay, so I have a dark setting powder. So I'm just going to only want to do like very light. I don't want it to make me really, really dark. I just want enough. Just enough. Alrighty. I definitely made myself. I'm trying to be entertaining. Because it's probably still boring. Okay, so almost done. We're gonna do it. I have this liquid velvet lip gloss, but I like taking the liner and outlining it. Like outline, line, outline, line, and then like filling it in. Cause this is what's gonna make it look. Your trick is to make anything stay for your lips. So take the lip liner around it, fill it in, because I guess it's something to stick to.
now I'm gonna I know it's, it is a liquid lip gloss by like dapping it a little bit because it keeps it in place don't mind my guys okay okay hey. I am ready okay let's talk about do every just so you guys know I don't do eyelashes I do have eyelashes I do mascara I do mascara and eyelashes um so we're gonna do from it we're gonna do my superhero is what it's called I don't do big eyelashes because I don't know how to put them on yes I went to beauty school no I did not master it so I don't do it unless somebody wants to come over here and teach me how to do I like fake eyelashes be fine you should have saw my mannequin head when I was trying to do fake eyelashes on it it was horrible I think I did better on the mannequin than I did on my own self so no don't do fake eyelashes and I don't do eyelash extensions at the salon because of that one it actually it, if you do fake eyelash you do eyelash extensions it actually makes your eyelashes fall out more and it's real a lot more work it's it's really bad for you so it is for if, like when you get hair extensions for your hair eyelash extensions is bad too and also there's also ways a chance to get glue in your eye and you're super sensitive there so I just choose not to do eyelash extensions or eyelashes because I know how sensitive my eyes are and I know how some of my clients are so I choose not to do eyelash extensions so instead they are mascaras that do the job you want they make your curly they make your more volume they make them more black more stand out so that's why I just I don't do it I use mascara to do my job for me I don't use a curler sometimes because my eyelashes are so long and they're already in perfect shape I just don't use a curler for mine but for other clients I do so recap we saw the NYX Eliminator, which I mean, nice and illuminating. You can see my shine real good. Worked really well. Went in and applied it really well, too. So it was really good. So let me give you a nice swatch of it. There's the swatch. Works really well applies fine nice and good too um nice and smooth barely any smell like i said it almost looks like a brand new shoe so it works really good i love it it might be my new favorite color next to my haunting light highlighter which is really good love the Maybelline bb cream and also like the wet and wild photo primer and matte matte which is so weird that they have that and I feel like it works well um now I feel like maybe I should have went a little bit heavier on the BB cream so next time I will do that and see if it works better I might not put enough on it in order for it in order for it to like really cover my pores but also maybe I didn't put my foundation on thick enough either so maybe I should try a second layer since I use the sponge, but I feel like the sponge didn't really absorb too much of it. Love my sponge though. Love this little guy. By far my favorite, so I'm going to keep getting this brand too. Their sponges. I love all of it. Really disappointed in e.l.f. I mean, the brow pencil is not too bad, but this was in the shade brown. And I feel like my eyebrows are a little bit different color. Than, they, than what it naturally is. Okay. That was driving me crazy. I feel like it's a little bit more gray. Like a grayer brown. And I don't know how good or bad that is. Maybe it kind of doesn't look too bad on me, to be honest. But it's a little different of a shade because it's not like a dark brown, I think, is what it is. And it's not. It looks more grayish. And then I'm really disappointed in the e.l.f. Because we saw earlier, that's my old one. My brand new one. Haven't really been used. I barely used it. And it's like, 
super dry and you saw that on the video too like it just opened it and it's super dry but that's the thing about elf so some with their eye eyeliner pens like these babies they are my life i love them one this is my old one and was exposed into the heat for a long time because i was on a car from my car trip from georgia still works hasn't been to expose the heat brand new super dry and i just just used it i barely used a tiny bit and it was like already dry so i'm a little disappointed but it, so maybe it's just their formula that needs to be worked better or it's just a bad batch but it, it seems like it's pretty consistent though sometimes it's not a good batch sometimes it is a good batch and i just don't care for it too much um it is two dollars so i guess you get what you pay for because i get it from walmart because i quickly have to run to walmart and got it because i didn't have time to go all the way out to wesley chapel or in lakeland to go to ulta um that being said i am looking for new eyeliner pens that i can't afford no i don't want to spend no more than like 10 bucks on an eyeliner pen because that's just crazy unless it's gonna be really good and it's gonna last me like a year then i will keep the eyeliner pen and pay a big time for that and then that, I think it's time for an Ulta trip and see about buying some makeup from there. So hopefully soon I can do that. Business needs to get picked up way more, but it's keeping me a tiny bit steady. So yeah, happy for July, you guys. I hope you like my look. Please like, subscribe, and where that bell is, hit the bell so you get notifications on when I do both videos and I'm trying to be consistent and consistent and making it every week posting videos it's just so hard so hard because it's editing so much too and I try to figure out ideas for everybody because I don't want to be a boring channel and do only just makeup so I'm trying to do like vlogs from like going places and just doing stuff at the salon too so you guys can see my work um soon I'll post be doing a video on a painting that I'll be doing for my salon because I'm making a painting for my room. Yay! Anyways, I'm gonna let you guys get going. Hope you like my video. Peace. I'm gonna do this. Peace. Love. Korean heart. Bye guys. I hope you like my look. All my friends are heathens, take it slow. Wait for